ABC's Adrian Bankert is there where the boys are being treated. What's the latest, Adrian? Good morning, George. Yes, we're here right outside the hospital. Police have moved all the journalists about a block away, but you can see those flashing lights behind us here and guards, police waiting for each and every ambulance that has come through. And every time one does with the lights flashing and that police and military escort, there is a sigh of relief that another young boy has been rescued from inside that cave. Behind us here at the hospital, they have one dedicated floor. They've actually set up from their ER room, this special area for the 13 that is specifically focused on treating infection. The government, actually, uh, public health officials going through and touring that facility before the boys arrived to make sure that it was set up properly because this is a new system set up for these young men. There are some concerns about them having a certain number of infections as well as things that could be waterborne or airborne illnesses. And so they're looking at that. They're also looking at whether or not they're malnourished because even after days of going without food and then having the divers come in and supply them, they still wouldn't be able to come up with the same level of strength that they did before. These are active young men, ages 11 to 16, and their 25-year-old coach. And so they're going to be treated here. And as Matt Gutman mentioned, they are under some kind of a quarantine. There's no touching or hugging of family members while they're being treated for possible infection while they're being treated here at the hospital. George, again, a lot of optimism here. We've seen eight ambulances go through. Back to you. Let's get more on this now from retired Admiral Robert Harward. He's a Navy SEAL who served as the deputy at U.S. Central Command. And Admiral, thanks for joining us again uh, this morning. I guess we're hearing now that this new wave of rescue is going pretty smoothly. Is this the kind of thing where the SEALs and other uh, officials are learning by doing? George, that's exactly right. They have a plan, they're executing the plan, and when they did, they recovered the first four yesterday. I'm sure they, hey, this part worked, we need to refine this. But I would think the toughest part in all of this is building that trust and confidence in the kid's mind. Think of what they've been going through. They've been in a cave for 17 days, and now they've got to do this arduous trek. And some of them who are not comfortable in the water are probably scared out of their minds. So I think the biggest part is not only refining the plan, but telling these kids, look, we've got four out, this is working, we're, we're going to get you out, and getting their trust and confidence pumped up for the journey they're going to make. So just an incredible uh, journey uh, that these guys are going to have to navigate.